as community uh, journalists, it's really important to understand your audience because only if you understand your audience can you actually communicate to them effectively. And official statistics, like for example the census, are a wonderful uh, free source of information to actually understand the local uh, geography you're working in, uh, local audiences, and even very small population groups. In England, Wales, we've had a census since 1801, uh, and it happens every 10 years. The last census in England, Wales, was on the 27th of March in 2011. Um, and basically, it's an estimate of the entire population. So every town, every village, every street, every house uh, is, is counted. Um, and everyone have received a questionnaire. They complete the questionnaire, returned it, and it takes quite a time to process this data, and this data is now available. A great thing about the census is it's a really unrivaled source of information about society. It measures changes in, in our population. The um, great thing about the census is, for a community journalist, however, is this is free data available and it's, down, uh, it's available to very small geographies. So, so you can actually look up your neighbourhood and get all these statistics for your local neighbourhood. Some of it you can actually get down to postcode level. The great thing about census statistics is you don't have to be a statistician to actually get to the data and actually use the data. It's very, very simple. Uh, the other advantage is it's free of charge. So for all the standard tables, you can just go online onto the uh, Office for National Statistics website and access the data. Uh, it's very, very straightforward. Also, there's a dedicated landing page for census data. So you go there and it signposts posts you to the data or analysis, or even data visualization, which really summarizes everything you would need to know uh, very, very easily. So it's very, very straightforward. The Neighborhood Statistics website is a fabulous website if you want to understand your local neighborhood. Basically, you just go there, type in your postcode, and it gives you all the statistics you could, would, could ever wish for. It includes all the census statistics, but it also includes other statistics on crime, on economic activity, on housing, education and even health in your local area. Neighborhood, the Neighbourhood Statistics website is very easy. Either you can just type in your postcode and for your postcode or for your local neighbourhood within that postcode you get all the statistics, you get graphics, tables, very easy to understand. Alternatively, if you're interested in a, in a different geography, you can type in the type of geography you want, for example local authority, and get a lot of information for, for this uh, uh, geography, be it census statistics or other Office for National Statistics statistics. The census is really an unrivaled source of information about society because the uh, information you collected is, is vast. Just remember the questionnaire, there were over 40 questions and we asked everything from age to ethnicity, the languages people speak, the houses they live in, the professions uh, they do, the way they travel to work. I mean, it's unbelievably a uh, wide range of uh, uh, topics, and this is all available now uh, from the Office for National Statistics and the Census Statistics. As a community journalist, if you want to understand uh, your local area, there, there are two ways. You can either go to the Office for National Statistics website uh, on ons.gov.uk slash census, takes you straight to the census pages and from here you've got signposts to the uh, data but also analysis on topics like ethnicity, like languages, like uh, Wales um, and also data visualisation which really help you to understand your local area or you can also go to the neighbourhood statistics website on uh, neighbourhood.statistics.gov.uk and here again it's very easy to access all the data and statistics for your local area. Okay. I mean, we had the census in 2011, so I saw England and Wales. Of course, uh, Scotland and Northern Ireland also had a census on the same day. Otherwise, you can, have, of course, access um, European statistics as well from Eurostat. And other countries who have a census are like America, Australia, and you could access all this information as well on, from their websites. <laughs>